what's up? It's Allie Hardesty. Welcome back to my channel. Or if you're new here, welcome to my channel. Make sure you hit that red subscribe button down below. Today's video is going to be a rave try on haul. I'm also probably going to low key pick out my outfits for EDC because I haven't done that yet. I'm also going to Paradiso like three weeks after that, so I need outfits for that as well. I'm also going to be at the Slushy concert in LA like a week before EDC and probably some other things coming up that I just don't have planned yet. But I have definitely upped my festival fashion game since the last time that I filmed a video like this. Pretty much everything that I have behind me right here is brand new. There may be a few things that I previously owned, but for the most part, after I go to a festival and I post pictures in an outfit, I don't hold on to it anymore. Basically everything is from either iHeart Raves because I went to their huge warehouse sale or Freedom Rave Wear because they hooked it up, you guys. They sent me a bunch of stuff and honestly, everything from both of these places is so cute. I'm not sure if I'm gonna try on everything. Some of this I can't because I would get my channel flagged so quick, like pasties and stuff. But for some of the outfits that I just really particularly like, I will be showing you guys on camera so you can see. In case you don't know or you're curious, I've been going to festivals for about three years now and especially the past two years, like I've been going hard, like nonstop, every event, every couple months in multiple different states. And I actually meet a lot of you guys at the events that I go to, which is so, so freaking cool. Like I know that a lot of people found my YouTube channel from my raving videos and I've been wanting to do an updated try and haul for all of my festival gear. So I hope that you guys enjoy the video. If you do, please give me a big thumbs up and let's get started. I don't even really know where to start, but this is an outfit that I've been high key considering for EDC, which is basically this badass leather jacket. You got some tasteful side boob going on there. It zips up and I'm probably going to wear black pasties underneath and then just put hella glitter on my chest with these high knee socks and then neon green bottoms, which I feel like really go together. And this will definitely be like kind of glowing in the dark type of thing. The next thing I want to show you is from Freedom Ravewear. Like I said, they hooked it up. So I actually have two different kinds of bottoms. These ones are a little bit more high waisted. And then these ones are a little bit skimpier. I'm not really going to show you guys in this video fishnets and stockings and things like that as much because it's kind of self-explanatory. But if I were to wear this to an event, I would wear fishnets with it. A subscriber actually sent me this. It's one of those animal hats. And I'll probably wear this to EDC because I wore one of these two years ago at my first EDC. These keep you really warm. They're really fun. And then I also have these furry boots. And I liked how they had these white hearts attached to them so you could tighten it so they actually stay on your legs. They keep you warm. I actually have so many fuzzy jackets, like the full size ones in my closet, but I didn't feel like bringing them all out. So this is just like kind of a smaller one. It looks like this. <laughs> it's kind of fun. It's super, super soft. Ooh. If you're looking for some accessories, this is also from Freedom Ravewear. I've actually never owned a fan before, but I'm definitely going to bring the CDC because honestly, it's so nice just to have like wind blowing in your face. And then I have a few fanny packs right here. I don't know where I bought this, but it is super gemmed out. And I feel like I need a specific outfit to actually wear this, but I can't wait for when I do get to wear it. And then this, I'm probably going to wear with that first outfit that I just showed you guys in the beginning with the neon shorts and it has secret pockets. It's so awesome. It's like a leather black fanny pack. Fanny packs are my issue guys. Like you will never catch me in a rave not wearing a fanny pack. You won't even really catch me out in general not wearing a fanny pack. Like I'm always wearing one. I'm so extra. This is a really sequined rainbow one. I also have it in blue somewhere. This one is from the brand Vibration. It's super cute. It has tons of room inside. Like this one is huge, but it doesn't look that big when you're wearing it. This is a bag from them, but it's not a water backpack. I've actually never owned one of those, but that's like the brand it's from. You know, if you guys have ever seen those bags where like people are drinking water. I actually bought these skirts, which I think are so cute. I've never worn anything like this before. This one is in the color light blue and it doesn't have anything underneath. So I'm going to have to wear something underneath and probably be mooning people. But I also have the same one in other colors. This one is in pink. I actually bought both colors because I was thinking if I wanted to match with one of my friends, I'm going with my friend Bailey to EDC and Paradiso. So we'll probably end up wearing these together so we can take cute pictures. I also got a dark blue velvet version, which is right here. This is a pair of high-waisted sparkly shorts. These I wore to Beyond, actually. They're also high-waisted. They zip in the back. They're super trippy. And then I have this top right here, which has an alien on it. I wore it to Electric Forest. Next, I have a couple of these rave bras. This one is in the color silver, and then this one is in the color blue. They're really basic. Honestly, if I were to wear these, I would probably put patches on them. That's what I did for EDC a couple years ago. I got iron-on patches from Etsy. I actually still have those patches if I ever wanted to reuse them, but because of all the beads, I don't really know if they would stick. I do have this one that I could definitely stick patches on. It has a black cross thing in the back and it zips up entirely. Here's another vibration pack. I didn't even know I had this. This is really cute. This is another pair of bottoms. What's funny is I think these are a size large slash extra large, but I usually wear like a size small medium. It just goes to show that sizes don't mean anything. Like if you can squeeze into it, you can squeeze into it. And these are also adjustable. This is a bodysuit from Freedom Ravewear and I am obsessed. Like it's so comfortable. It's metallic. It's shiny. It fits super flattering. This is a mask I also got from Freedom 
and rave wear. It's like a bandana. I'm totally gonna wear this with that first outfit that I showed you. Really nice material too. This is an alien top. It's super casual. I would probably wear this like on the way to a rave or something just for a rave weekend. And it low-key kind of goes with these shorts that say, I solemnly swear I am up to no good. Ooh, I was absolutely living for this at the iHeart Rave sale. It's a two-piece. I don't even know how to describe it. It's so strappy, so fun. It kind of looks like dinosaur print, but I'm obsessed. Again, I love the matchy matchy. And then I have another matching two-piece set from Freedom Rave Wear, except for this time we have two different tops. This top is definitely flex in the under boob. And then this one is more conservative, more of like a sports bra kind of vibe. And then these are the bottoms that go with both of them. They're just like a bikini style. I also have this fanny pack. I think I wore this to Escape last year. It has aliens on it. I have these basic black bottoms from iHeart Raves. They're high-waisted. They tie on the sides. They're kind of shimmery. So they would go with a lot of different things. I know this isn't called a scarf, but I can't think of the name right now. And I honestly have no idea where I even got this. But it is super cute, and I love wearing these things to festivals. They kind of spice up any outfit. I just wore this to be on, but it was really cute, so I still wanted to show it. It's a two-piece blue fish netted top and bottom. It has a variety of different blues and some sparkles on it. This is a rainbow bodysuit from iHeart Raves. It's definitely the most basic you can get, but I had wanted it for so long. Like, in 2016, when I first started raving, I remember going to the iHeart Raves website and being like, I want that. Like, it's so cute. It's velvet. And now I have it, and it's super comfortable. This is some glitter from Freedom Rave that I'm going to absolutely drench myself in at these next few festivals. And then these bottoms say, into the AM, which is a total freaking mood because you do not sleep at EDC. I'm also obsessed with checkers, so I have these high-waisted checkered bottoms and then also a checkered fanny pack. I think I wore this to Hard Summer. This is another mask, which was actually made by a subscriber. Shout out to them. Olivia ordered from their Etsy shop, and then she sent over this along with an extra one for Olivia because she watches our videos. I was like, oh my god, that's so cute. I'm gonna wear this all the time. It obviously goes around your ears. It fits a little bit differently. This is another fanny pack. It has flowers on it. I actually love this brand. It's super high quality. I got it at the iHeart Rave sale. And then I have another set from Freedom Rave Wear, which is matching. It's like a tube top and then kind of high-waisted cheeky bottoms, but it comes with this thing that you put on your arms. So cute. I love all the things hanging down. It's purple. This one is also super freaking cute. It's metallic. It's kind of giving me mermaid vibes. Speaking of Etsy shops, this was actually from my friend's Etsy shop and I wore it to Nocturnal Wonderland in 2017. Then we have another pair of white bottoms. They kind of adjust on the side so you can stretch them out, but I feel like having white bottoms, black bottoms are just very essential because you never know what you're going to need to match with. This is a long sleeve black bodysuit. It covers you, but you still have that rave vibe going on because of the arms on it. And then this is a pair of little red metallic shorts from I Heart Raves. Comment below your favorites. Like, please help your girl out. I don't know what to wear to wear and what would go with what. This I wore to Hard Summer. It's a two-piece velvet rainbow set and it lights up. I'm gonna insert a picture. This is a purple velvet top. It's very strappy. Kind of has like a built-in choker looking thing. This is a top I got at the I Heart Rave sale, but I couldn't find the bottoms to match, so I may end up getting them online or just trying to match it with something else. This would easily go with it. This is a pair of fishnet black bottoms. Another pair of velvet dark blue shorts that have the things on the side and then this is another bandana from freedom rave wear super cute. And I also have these unicorn bottoms. I think they were sent to me. I have no idea from where. And then I have another blue sequined fanny pack that matches that rainbow one I showed you earlier. I have a lot of fanny packs. This is just like a basic cotton candy colored bodysuit. It's so comfy. This is another top from Freedom Rave Wear. It is see-through, but how cute is that? Like, I love the color green. And then this pair of bottoms, I really like this one. This is giving me EDC vibes, but I don't know if I'll actually wear it there. It is a mesh shirt with a hood on it in the color purple, pink, and blue, which I feel like is a really good combination. This shirt is kind of similar. It also has a gigantic hood. Then we have some more basic black bottoms. These ones are a lot more high-waisted and they have a lot of ties in here on the sides and also in the front. This is another top I got from I Heart Raves. I love the print. And then I also have this little hooded thing. I'm really feeling the hoods. Like sometimes I just like to put on my hood, put on a face mask and not really talk to people and just feel the music. And then we have another black bodysuit. This is a long sleeve one with the hood. I feel like I would get really hot in this unless it was freezing cold so I'd probably save it for an event where it was gonna be freezing cold. This is the top that I wore to Beyond Wonderland. It's super strappy, which I love. Just kind of accentuates your waist. It's black, but it's metallic and kind of has like a purple vibe. This is another fanny pack. It's just a really basic rainbow one. And then I have these bottoms, which I hope I can wear for EDC, but I just don't know what top would go with them. And they strap around your legs, which makes your butt look really good. And then I have this rainbow romper from I Heart Raves. I love wearing things with this material because it just feels like you're naked and you just feel so free. This is another top. 
It's black, see-through. This just goes around your head. This is a top from I Heart Raves. It's a hood. And you also can tie it right here at the bottom. Then we have these bikini bottoms from Freedom Rave Wear. If I ever go to an event where there's like water slides and stuff, I would be wearing a lot of these kind of outfits. These are some really cheeky bottoms and then some more so bikini kind of bottoms that you can tie on the side to adjust. I also have these bottoms. They're very, very skimpy. And then this is basically the same thing in pink. And then last but not least for these clothes, I have this top. I wore it to Organic Fest. It has a hood on it and then these things hanging from it. I feel like it's so, so cute. And then I have this bag which contains a bunch of different rave stuff like this flower crown that lights up. I don't know if you guys can tell. I'll probably wear this to a day of EDC. I keep saying that about everything, but like I'm just so excited. I have these gem pasties, which I would love to wear, but I feel like they're gonna fall off. That's the only thing. A couple other pairs of pasties. I love the cross ones. Those are definitely my favorite. I have some heart ones, some star ones, some more star ones, some mermaid ones. These are a couple of the other masks I have. This one has aliens on it. This one is super trippy. I've acquired a lot of these over time. This one was from Halloween a couple years ago and it has a skull on it. I feel like everyone has this one. And then I have some different fun colored ones. Ooh, I also have some rave toys in here. Have you guys ever seen this before? These are so much fun. Fishnets, more fishnets, more fishnets, more fishnets. And yeah, that's pretty much it. This is definitely not everything that I own for festivals, but it was the majority of the new stuff. So you guys get the point I just wanted to share with you. If you guys need some outfit inspo, I hope that this helped. Or if you guys want to know where to buy outfits for events, I'm also going to have everywhere that I got all this stuff linked below in the description box. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a big thumbs up. Let me know in the comments what your next event is going to be and also what outfits you guys like the best. Follow my social media, especially Instagram, because that's where I post a lot of my festival photos in these outfits. Also check out my merch. I have a rave alligator t-shirt and all kinds of stuff on there. So go check it out. That would mean the world to me. I will see you guys in the next video. Later alligators. Bye.